just have some fat wood here I'm processing that I collected from the woods. This is an old stump that I found. That should be good enough. I'm cutting these little pieces up now. Chop them down a little bit farther. Because I'm going to use these to make a fire necklace with fat wood. So, stay with me. I probably won't finish the whole thing today. Might have to do a couple videos with this. But we'll get started on it. You can see the grains. That's some good stuff. That's probably like a probably at least 20 years old. I found about five or six more of these. It's just where the tree has rotted all the way down. The only thing that's remaining is the outside of the stump where the resin has set. And that's some good stuff right there. All right, stay with me. Few of these are already uh, split up into smaller pieces, and uh, I'm just gonna split this one up real quick. So use what you got. It's already That'd be a good piece. Split that up. That'd work. Split that one up. That stuff splits real easy. All right, well I got enough pieces to process to make my little fire necklace. And let's see. I'll hold that up in the sun and let you see the color of it. This is 
get this up in the sun so you can see the color in it there it is you see that bright orange or that amber color So stay with me, y'all. Get my knife out and let's try to drill a hole through this and uh, see if I fit a piece of paracord for, uh, through it. And we'll add a few other things in another video to show you the, the complete fire necklace. All right. Clean that up later. Let's just see if a piece of paracord fits through it. Yep. That's all you need. Go ahead and do let's see which one. Do this one. See if paracord fits through that hole. Come on now. Yeah, You're catching that little piece in there. We'll get it. There's one. There's two. Pieces of fat wood on a piece of paracord. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish this up in another video and we'll still add some stuff to it. I've got to get a ferro rod and I'm going to order one from Nathan4701. I think I got that right. And when I get that, we'll start on the second phase of the, of the uh, fire necklace. So stay tuned and... When it comes in the mail to ferro rod, we'll get going on the second phase.
And you can just uh, take and tie this paracord up, put it on a key ring like that, and add a fire steel and a few other things. You can make you a quick little fire kit with that. Alright, well that's it. Stay tuned for the second part as we build our fire necklace. See you in a part two.